Hello, in this video we're going to talk about cross products. In particular, we want to find A cross B, and we want to find actually the direction of A cross B. And to do that, we're going to use the right hand rule. So I've got two hands. I've got my left hand and my right hand. I'm going to use my right hand for the right hand rule. And the second finger that I have, that's going to point in the direction of A. Okay, and my third finger, that needs to point in the direction of B. All right, and my thumb is going to tell me the direction that A cross B is going in. All right, so let's set this up. A has to go in the direction of vector A. My third finger is going in the direction of B. And then my thumb is pointing straight out at, at you in the direction of the paper. All right, so maybe an easy way to start this right hand rule is to start with your hand pointing in the direction of vector A. Curl your fingers in the direction of B. All right, and we can see that there's my finger pointing in the direction of A. The third finger is curling towards vector B. Okay, so we got that curl action going on and the direction that your thumb is pointing in that is the direction of the cross product vector. So in this particular case the cross product is pointing right out at you and if we were to try to plot that on the paper it's coming right out at you like that. It's perpendicular to the plane that A and B live in. Again, that vector is pointing right out at you for the cross product. 